All right, welcome back to former Britain's best lawn 2016. It's not looking like Britain's worst lawn anymore, which is good news. So if we just remember what we were doing last time we were here, first of all, we were starting at the weed grasses, replacing patches of annual meadow grass and other weed grasses that I got in with a square that we cut out of a clean area in this little dog leg area. So we did that, we've reseeded that in the process, but what we did was we give everything else a really good scarify we did a big scalp and got it right back and then we scarified it again to create some grooves for the seed. And we top dressed it with the root zone that I used to fill in the hole that we'd created, removing the turf to fill in the turf patches. And then we fleeced it. Well, I came back on Monday, which is now Thursday. So the covers came off three days ago. Uh, I've been watering heavily since this lawn has been a wind tunnel since then. So it's been drying out, so I've not been able to get any product on. So 12 days after we did the work, we're now ready to get on with our first dose of product. So without further ado, let's get to it and we'll show you where we're at with it. Okay, so just looking at the lawn from afar, it looks really lush, but up close, still very thin, which is good. If you ever take your covers off and you've got a full lawn, then you've got too much seed down. But you can see there's new seed coming through so it's, got, it's too windy today to get any products on what I want to do is get some so pro grace Stella and orbit on so what I've done today is I've just given it a really good water just because it's been so dry I don't manage to get on over the weekend um, but they've watered it um, today it's really windy so I just can't get anything on and it's just going to dry this out so I'll probably come back later on and give it another water but we're not looking too bad the patches we've got just starting to come through so we've got some germination and again that's going to sprout we've got more weeds actually than anything but well, that'll be in the sand it just come with a few bits of weeds in it and when we put the covers on people will say why do you do that one of the reasons is for debris so if you have a look at where there's been no covers and to where there has been you can see that there's all this debris has fallen was if there'd been covers there it would have fallen on the covers but because it was such a small gap i've just left it being lazy really so yes what we'll, we'll come back tomorrow and we'll get the products on and hopefully the wind's not as high so we'll see you then okay so just give it a cut on number two with the hater today so it's 10 days since we seeded, but it's about two weeks since we started the actual process of work. So we can see up close, it's still very patchy, but the seed is coming through, it's germinated. So that's why we're desperate to get the products on. Like I said before, it's just been a wind tunnel this lawn for the last week. So it's just been drying out. Oh, just ridiculous. This sand just crucifies it and it, it, we just can't get enough water at the moment. So I've been here using the water boat and the pump but we'll come back the next day and it's just as though I've never been. We've got this patch over here. Got some signs of growth, but again, it's just drying out and just can't get enough water on, but it's coming. That's a good thing. It's uh, a work in progress, but it's coming. Now, where are we in terms of where we were this time last year? This time last year, we were only just starting the scarifying. So as far as that goes, we're ahead of the game. But after 12 days last year, we were a lot further along just because we had better weather and more water was going on. So we, it's kind of like we're heading one way, but not in another. But I can tell you now in two to three weeks, this lawn is gonna be at its absolute best guaranteed. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna get on with our Stella Bio Boost, our Orbit, our Sopro and our Grace to give that seed some nutrition. I'm also gonna throw in some of my Dan's Magic Liquid Lawn Feed and some slow grow, which I'll come to in another video when we're launching that. But that, what that's going to do is it's just going to stop that feed really kicking in and give us loads of growth. What we're going to do, we want to force the growth downwards to get the roots going and we'll end up with a better plant in the process rather than loads of lush growth. So that's what we're aiming to do, a nice healthy plant. We're not in a rush this year because last year, if you remember, we were getting ready for a, some kind of, was it a jubilee party or something? So we were under pressure, whereas this year there's no pressure so we can just do it healthily rather than rushing it and ending up with a, a weaker plant. So let's go and get our stuff and we'll see you in a sec.
All right, so we've just put the products on. What have we put on? Grace, SoPro, Orbit, Stella, Slow Grow, and Dan's Magic Liquid Lawn Feed. This lawn this year has had zero nutrition whatsoever in terms of macronutrients, which is your nitrogens, your potassiums, your phosphates. That's macronutrients. Then you've got your micronutrients, which is like your zinc, your copper, your magnesium, your calcium, things like that. So we've had none of those. So what this is going to do, it's just going to get our plant off to a really good start. Roots, leaf, with that slow grow on there as well, it's not going to go like that. We're going to send some of that energy that's going upwards back down into roots so we can get even deeper roots. And at times like this in the year when it's absolutely bone dry, we need those roots as deep as we can so they're healthy, so they can take up as much water as they can as what's available. So I know it's a short one today, but there's not much going on. So what we'll do is we'll just let that kick in, keep watering, and in a week, this will be a totally different proposition. And then we'll think about getting on with some equilibrium or equinox or whatever I've got in, because I'm out of stock of equilibrium at the minute. That's coming in next week. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Take care and we'll see you soon. And don't forget to like and subscribe.